Hi. I want to let you know something that my family's doing for January. We're going to have a no spin January. We've never done this before. And we thought, you know, there's a lot of people doing it. I've heard about it for years. You know, different months. It doesn't have to necessarily be January. But I've heard about it for a long time. We've thought about it. I've talked to my husband about it several times. And every time I've had, you know, um, sorry, that was my phone. Um, I've had, you know, well, maybe we do it. Maybe we won't. You know, it was always a left up in the air type of thing. It was never a definite yes or a definite no, so I just kind of gave up on it. But this time, I sat down with my husband, and he said, yeah, sure, let's do that. So, I'm going to tell you some things um, that we are not going to do and that we are going to do. Just a list of things that we have planned already. Um, first of all, um, the first thing we're going to do that we spend money on is, or we're not going to do, sorry, that we spend money on is we're not going to go out to eat. Um, except once or twice. Now, I will get to the reason why we're going out to eat that once or twice in a moment. But with us, after church on Sundays, because church usually goes sometimes 1.30, 2 o'clock, um, we'll be like, you know, let's just go to KFC, or let's go to McDonald's, or let's go to Arby's, or let's, you know. So we'll go out to eat, and we'll end up with a family of four. We'll spend anywhere from $25, $30, $35 on one meal. Well, $25 to $30, I could feed us several times from the grocery store. So we've decided, I mean, that's some people's whole entire weekly budget for groceries. Actually, there's one lady that I'm amazed how she does it. Amanda from Fundamental Home. I'm amazed. But then again, she's got this awesome store she talks about that we don't have and I wish we did. So anyway, um, I'm going way off on something else. So anyway, we're not going to go out to eat. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan ahead on for Sundays after church. I'm going to go ahead and have something in the crock pot or I'm going to have a quick meal planned. Or, um, we're just going to eat sandwiches. Uh, something simple. Or leftovers if we have them. A lot of times I cook where we don't have leftovers. Except the, uh, leftovers on purpose for my husband to take to work. And those are just enough for him to take to work for one meal most of the time. So, that's what we're going to, and, and it's just usually Sundays and Wednesdays that we end up going out to eat. So we're not going to be doing that. Um, except for my daughter's birthday, and it's her birthday, so the way we do it is, for our birthdays, we get to pick either I cook, uh, whatever meal that whoever's birthday it is wants, or we go out to eat, uh, wherever that, that per birthday person's, person wants to go. So, she wants to go. She's had it planned for probably six months where she wants to go. So, um, we're going to go out to eat on that day. Um, and my birthday is this month. And we may go out to eat for my birthday. Because that is a choice that I have. And it is a pre-planned thing. But, I still don't know if I want to or not. I may want my husband to just cook steak on the grill. Because we don't get steak very often. Uh, so, you know... That might be my birthday dinner. And it would be a lot cheaper than going out to have a steak dinner. Um, and, of course, my daughter will still get gifts because that's a pre-planned thing. And I don't believe that anyone, you know, any anyone who's doing a no-spend month should deprive their child from, from a gift or celebrating their birthday or anyone in the house from celebrating their birthday because that's a great thing. Um... The next thing is we're not going to spend money on anything but essentials. That is bills. First of all, pay your bills. Groceries, gas for work. If you have uh, like college tuition or anything like that, which we don't have, or school tuition of any kind, that type of thing. Um, any kind of fees that you are already obligated to, you pay those things. But you don't make new bills. You don't go out and uh, purchase new things. 
to make a new bill. Unless something in your home breaks and you have no choice, which um, hopefully you've got savings so you don't have, you can, you know, replace that thing with that. I did not tell you why that we're doing this. First of all, we did have a budget, I mean, not a budget, sorry, a debt-free Christmas. We did not go into debt for Christmas. We planned, we used bonus, um, we used, you know, money we had. We did not use any credit cards or anything of that nature for our Christmas. So it's not because of Christmas. Um, but we would like to put some money into our savings, just some extra, you know. We always like to have a little extra savings. And um, we are going to eventually, very soon, <laughs> have to buy a new deep freeze because ours is really old and it's deciding that it wants to not work properly sometimes. And if I have my deep freeze, then I can use it. If it's not working properly, I'm scared to use it. So that's one of the things. Um, we also have some small medical bills that we're wanting to get paid off. It's not much, but uh, the most that we owe on is our home. We don't have car payments or anything like that. We All of our cars are paid off. So, anyway, I'm going on a whole different subject from there. Okay, then, the, like I said, only essentials. Um, another thing that you can do is make a wish list of things that you might possibly see or hear about or something, you know, one of your friends has... And you really, you know, you'd like to go out and buy it. But it's no spend month. You can't go do that. So make a wish list. And then in a month or two, you may decide, you know, I really don't want that. Or you may find a way to make that out of things you already have. Or somehow to do a DIY. Or you may end up getting it on sale later. You just got to, you know, wait sometimes. And I can do that. I can't wait. Um, my biggest thing is I cannot go into certain stores because they are triggers for me. I can't go into Dollar Tree. I can't go into Ross. I can be, I've got to be careful in Walmart. Um, I can't go into Office Depot, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. You know, those types of places. If I go in, I usually spend money. So... I can't go into my trigger stores. I have to stay out of them for the month of January because I don't want to mess up. I want to accomplish this goal that I have set. Um, so don't go into the trigger stores. Uh, one thing we're going to do because we're only going to be buying like uh, food and home products and um, like you know personal care essentials. Uh, we're going to use cash. We're not going to use our debit card. And we don't use credit cards for those things anyway. But we're not going to use our debit card. We're going to keep that money in the bank. And we're going to go take out a certain amount. And I will um, probably make a video about our budget that we've decided on. Uh, that we're going to try. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to take out a certain amount. And I'm only going to use cash. And I'm also going to keep up with every penny that we spend. If I go to the grocery store and I buy a pack of ground beef and I buy a gallon of milk and, um, you know, head of lettuce, whatever, I am going to write down, I'm going to keep a log of everything that I spent. So that's another thing that I'm doing. Not everybody has to do that, but I just want to see how much we spend. I want to see how much we really do need to live and how much we, I mean, because I, my biggest downfall is a grocery store. Uh, one day I'll show you my pantry and my refrigerators. I have two refrigerators and uh, maybe my deep freeze. I will show you how much food we actually have. That's one of the biggest problems in my home is I buy, if I find it on sale, I buy it. And, you know, because food, we're going to use it eventually. But do we need it? Probably not. Um, so, let's see. I've gone over not going out to eat except for birthdays. Uh, not spend on anything but essentials. Use cash. Pay your bills. Um, keep a record of what you spent. Um, don't go to certain trigger stores. Make a wish list. And 
we are going to possibly do this. We haven't decided for sure, but we are possibly, if we do well, if we do not fail at all, if we don't have any mishaps, possibly have a, um, a reward if we don't mess up. And that will be going out to a nice dinner or, you know, something like that. We're not, which we haven't decided if we're going to do that or not. I will be making videos and I plan on posting them on Mondays. And um, my first one will be the second Monday of January, which is going to be... should have had this already figured out. My phone malfunctions whenever I want to use it. The ninth, I'm planning on having a video out telling what we did to save money, how we saved money, some things we did that are free that are things that are already in our home that we've already got paid for. Oh, and something else I did not think about. Um, if you, this is right after Christmas. So if you get gift cards for Christmas, that you can spend that that's not money that you're bringing in in january that's already yours that's already money spent any money that is already spent use it if you want to don't just use it just because you can but if you find that you have an amazon card and you want something from amazon because it was a christmas gift that's a christmas gift go ahead and do that um use your money that gift cards and things like that if you want to so, uh, this video's getting long, so I'm gonna go ahead and say bye, and if anyone does want to join me in this No Spend January, I'll make a playlist, and, um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and, in the description below, put, you know, the what I'm doing, and, you know, you can make your own rules, this is yours, this is not somebody else's, this is your thing. It is for you, for your family, and it's a challenge, and I want to meet the challenge. So, until the next video, I will say goodbye.